never have uh, Latin, the MIDI for it, and it comes with a lot of extra tracks. And so I've identified that the main track that does the, the tuning stuff is this green one here. So I'm just going to go through and delete all of these. I've already done it, so I'm just going to hit redo. So I delete every track except for... I'm just going to change color because there's a weird way it does colors, but you just have to remember which one it was. And... Yeah. So... Um, I still have to figure out how to cut out this stuff at the beginning. But, um, hopefully you can hear that. Up here in the corner, um, I can go to Tools and Set File Duration, and it says in milliseconds, and I count it up here, you know, about 78 seconds, so 78,000. And there we go. That shortened it that direction. So I can look at the data coming out of that MIDI channel directly, um, just using my script and MIDI filter and printing it out. And I see that the important channel is channel 3. So I need to look at MIDI filter and change that accordingly. And then um, I, I didn't get around to you know, making actual print statements, so I'm just going to have to channel it into a file. So, Python 3, MIDI filter, so it should give us a bunch of, yeah, times. So let's channel that into time track .txt. And we'll do the same thing with the notes. So the time component is a bit too slow, so I'm going to divide the time lengths by 50, and hopefully that looks a bit better. So this MIDI playing code is basically like the other playing codes for the bass guitar. Um, you know, it's got the usual libraries, uh, you know, the usual LED inputs. Um, I've got this uh, hard-coded in range of where each uh, string has its uh, frequency yet, and um, yeah, you can see how, so the, the frequencies that I originally wanted were in the 400s, so I lowered it an octave, which I think just means divide by two. I'm not a math person or a music person, so I don't know for sure, but it sounds mostly right, or at least it's recognizable. Um, yeah, I've got this uh, note to frequency thingy. If you're familiar with MIDI, you'll recognize this function right here to the power of whatever the MIDI note is divided by 12 times 440, changes it to the frequency. Um, I load the data and the time. And then, um, yeah, actually I should probably delete. I don't think that's important here. Um, and then, you know, the usual, like, sum up you know, take go from index or go from tab and chord to index, and then play that note on the bass guitar, and then clear everything, get ready for the next guy, and then yeah, just go through the note through the song, playing all the notes, and just get started. <laughs> 